um, hearing that piece that was so inspiring to me as, um, as I approach different parts of my life and stages and phases of life. Um, it's nice to grow out of some and into the next. My children um, are, my youngest is about to be 16 on, on Saturday, this coming Saturday. And, you know, the, the progression of life for mothers at every stage gives new meanings, right? And so I wrote this piece um, when they were babies and still in some ways find it very relevant because, you know, as time goes on, I'll be celebrating new joys of life and hopefully we'll get a chance to be a grandmother in a few decades. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you know, start early. Child on my hip and one holding my hand. Waiting in the express lane at the checkout stand. Babies crying hungrily. Empty bottle fell to the floor. I bounce them on my hip and tell them, Mama's trying to buy you some more. Um, that's 16 items, the clerk says to me. You have to take all your things and go wait in line three. My basket's filled with essentials. Every one thing I need. I'm hella pissed off. <laughs> but I see these four small eyes looking up at me. Child on my hip and one holding my hand. Grocery bags between my legs as I stand next to this seated man. I stare in disgust and make a mental note to teach my boys manners and things that matter the most. I ring the bell to get off the bus, but the drivers and the riders in such a rush, they just back clean, close the dang door on us. So now I take a deep breath and think before I speak, because what I say out loud right now, these boys will be repeating next week. <laughs> Child on my hip and one holding my hand, standing in the rain, praying for some dry land. We wait at the corner trying to get by, and the car splashes through a puddle and speeds on by. So, but now I'm feeling hot, right? My mouth feels like the vent. <laughs> but I gotta cool off so I don't regret the message I sent. Child on my hip and one holding my hand. Six blocks from home, my son states his demand. Grocery bags and all. Says he gotta pee and he can't hold it no more. <laughs> can't hold it no more. So we go on across the street on into the corner store. So I go in and I explain our story, but the old man refuses, says the restroom's only for employees. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, by now I've had enough. I've really had it up to here and here. So I tell my son, baby, go on the key, right, right, right here, right here on this floor. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, I'm just kidding. But in my mind, that is what I said. <laughs> Um, thank you. <laughs> um, you know, and then on the humor, I could have been like, I could have actually said some things that I would have liked to say at that point, but the point is, is that, you know, I'm aware that these children, mm -hmm. as we uh, model for them, what we model for them, they show and do, especially at that real young age. And, you know, as a young mom, I'm, I'm doing my best, and that, you know, so um, <laughs> some things have to la end in a laugh. Um, so this next piece is um, This next piece is a piece that I wrote while I was in um, Philadelphia and for the first time. 
And I found myself feeling increasingly invisible to my own, and I was really disturbed by it. Um, not to sound or be vain, but I'm not used to being ignored. And especially when, I should repeat, I should say that differently, because it's not to say that I think that I should be seen, but it was surprising to me to be in a town in a place where I was excited to see um, a lot more brown faces that I'm used to seeing here. And it was really upsetting to me to have the experience to have eyes at the ground when we walked past each other. So um, this piece began from that and, and evolved into what I'd like to see it be. Dearly beloved, brother, sister, auntie, cousin, uncle, friend, we may never, ever, ever, ever see each other again. And by the time you read this note, I'll probably be gone. But see, I just can't stand to fight this fight alone. So I wrote this with tears of shame and disgust in my eyes. Because I saw you coming, but then you walked right on by. Invisibility is what it says to me. My dearly beloved brother, sister, auntie, uncle, cousin, friend. Dearly beloved brother, I don't want your money. I don't want to drive your car. I don't want you to take me out to dinner. I don't want no drink at the bar. I'm not selling nothing. I'm not begging for spare change. I'm just asking for a hey, simply, sister, hush day. See, because I know I'm your beautiful black sister. And I don't mean to curse, but damn, this shit hurts. I'm so much more than just another potential date or heading. More than sexual orientation or relationship statuses, there are no excuses to act like this. So when you see me, speak to me, because you're not invisible to me. Beloved black sister, I know we see each other approaching. But when we got close, you looked away, passed on by me. So now I'm asking them, why me? Not a smirk or a nod. You could at least mumble hi. Part of me wants to believe that maybe you're just shy. But the way your eyes hit the ground confirmed that the devil is alive. But then again, maybe it's my bad for not stepping up, turning around. I should have spun around, tapped you on the shoulder, and said, hey, wait up. I'm in a hurry, too, but that don't mean that I don't see you. That's why the nod was never much of a threat. Because when we looked into each other's eyes, no one else seemed to notice. Reminded me of the way we've been treated and belittled it, belittled. That belittling BS that we face every day. Invisible to everyone. So now it seems like we can't even see ourselves. Dearly beloved, black brother, sister, cousin, auntie, uncle, friend, Have we got to the point where we're scared of each other? Have we got to the point where we can't repair the damage? Because if we don't get back to loving one another since the revolution won't be televised, 
We all need to get it together. Be better together and take care of each other. Acknowledge one another. I see you, dearly beloved. Do you see me too? Thank you. Thank you.